Good morning, guys. And this is Mr. Poole back here. And uh, today we're talking about multiplying with decimals. So I have a whole number with a decimal in it, and then I have two decimals multiplying together. Okay, first we're gonna multiply the whole number. Now, the thing you can do at first is just totally ignore the decimal. You don't have to worry about the decimal to the end. So all you're doing is multiplying the number. So again, you cover up, cover up uh, this first digit and all you do is multiply these numbers. So five times six is 30. You put the ones down, you carry the three, five times seven, 35 plus three is 38. Again, right now, just ignore the decimal, just multiply as usual. Okay, cross that out, cross that out. Put your zero down there. Six times two, 12. Carry a one. Two times seven, 14. Plus one is 15. Again, we're not worrying about the decimal. All we're gonna do is add it up now. That's zero, that's zero. Carry your one, that's nine, that's one. Okay, now here's, here's where you have to deal with the decimal. So you go back up to your problem. If you were starting here, at the right hand side, how many spots did it, did it, is the decimal in? So here it's one, right here, it's one spot. From here to here, it's one spot. Here, the decimal is right here. So it hasn't moved at all. So that one hasn't moved at all. This one's moved one spot. So down in your answer, you put the decimal in one spot then. So you would move the decimal right here. Since it's moved one spot here and one spot only, then you only move it one spot down here. So therefore your decimal point would be right here and your answer would be, you don't have to keep the zero here if you don't want to, it would just be 190. All right, that's the first one. Now, what if you had decimals in both of the numbers okay so again just multiply is normal multiply is normal ignore the decimals to begin with three times four is 12 carry your one four times seven 28 plus one is 29 we put a nine we carry our two four times one is four plus two is six now, this is where we have to look at the decimal. So if we start from the right-hand side here, we go one, two places. So one, two places here. And here we go one. So one, two, plus another one is three places. So we moved it one, two, three places. So now we have to go down here and we have to move it three places. So we go one, two, three, and we put the decimal right there. Okay, one, two up here, one up here, one, two, three. So you have to add up the number of times you move the decimal, one, two here, one here, that's a total of three, so then you have to come down here and go one, two, three places. And your answer would therefore be six and, or sorry, uh, 692 thousandths, 692 thousandths, okay? All right, any questions about that? All right, hopefully, guys, you can do these, do these on your own. Again, it's just like multiplication. At the end, you move the decimal point over how many spots it was in the problem, okay? 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All right, have a good day. Bye.